You. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Um, I mean, I was looking for you. Uh, Aunt Polly sent you this. Now, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry I disturbed your practice. Would you like someone to practice your sermon on? No, no, thank you, John. Uh, Mother and I used to be an audience to my father when he was practicing his sermons. He, he was a minister too, you know. Oh, yes, yes, so he was. Uh, do you like being a minister? Do I like being a... Now, why would you ask a thing like that? Oh, the way you looked just then reminded me of my father. Once I saw him sort of sad like that, and I asked him. And what did he say? Hmm. Said he was glad he was. But it made him sad sometimes when he just couldn't seem to get through to his congregation. Sounds familiar. I suppose every minister of God faces the same problem. I suppose. Tell me, did your father ever solve the problem? Well, he read something one day that said helped him. In the Bible? No, just something he read someplace. He had it put on this chain. He wore it always. It's all I have of his. When you look for the bad... Ugh, it always makes me cross-eyed. May I? Mm. When you look for the bad in mankind, expecting to find it, you surely will. Abraham Lincoln. He was the president. Yes. Yes, I know. But I never heard that before. Neither of my father. Anyway, he said it started him thinking. And from then on, he was going to look for the good in people. That's when we both started searching for the Bible for the texts. The texts? Yes. You know. My father called them the glad passages. You know. The happy ones, like, um, uh, shout for joy or be glad in the Lord, you know, like that. There are 800 happy texts. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yes, well, there are. And you know, my father said, if God took the trouble to tell us 800 times to be glad and rejoice, he must have wanted us to do it. Oh, I'd better be going now. I'm sorry I disturbed your practicing. I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye.